For the uninitiated, iceberg charts are mapped from most well-known things of a topic to least known things of a topic. Today we'll be taking a dive into the Corpse Party Iceberg, created by my good friend Joe. There are six official Corpse Party games. The first Corpse Party game, Corpse Party, was released in 1996 for the Japan-only PC-98, using RPG maker Dante98, created by college student Makoto Kedoen. The game takes a top-down perspective as five students, Satoshi, Naomi, Yuka, Ayumi, and Yoshiki, get trapped in a haunted school and attempt to escape with their lives from the girl in red. A remake of Corpse Party with a complete graphical overhaul and a much more fleshed out story. The main cast increases to 9 as they are transported to Heavenly Host Elementary after a ritual goes wrong. Here they must appease the murderous ghost girl Sachiko and find a way out. Blood Covered is the most well known game in the series having multiple ports. A visual novel with exploration and puzzle elements. Containing 8 chapters, each with different scenarios, some taking place in an alternate timeline, others being prequels, with the final chapter being a sequel to Blood Covered. A direct sequel to Book of Shadows, where the survivors of Heavenly Host have to return once more to prevent the end of the world and put a stop to Heavenly Host once and for all. Blood Drive is exploration based much like Blood Covered, but uses 3D graphics and models. Also known as Sweet Sachigo's Hysteric Birthday Bash, a spin-off visual novel where it's Sachigo's birthday so the main cast takes a break from gore and has a corpse-less party for a day. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Yay! An unfinished sequel to the other Corpse Party titles, but it also stands on its own introducing a completely new plot. The story revolves around Ayame who wakes up in a hospital with slight amnesia. She realizes she's locked in with horrible monsters and violent SWAT guards from which she must escape. It plays similarly to Blood Drive and currently only has one chapter. A niche genre of RPG Maker software is used to create a horror or dark game. They're usually notable for their storytelling, puzzles, and creative scares. Some of the most well-known games in the genre include Yume Nikki, Eeb, and Mad Father. However, Course Party is known for being the first and most successful horror RPG Maker game. Missing footage shows the main cast's daily lives before they are transported to Heavenly Host, while Tortured Souls adapts the plot of the games. Both OVAs are just as well known as the games, if not more, mainly for their obscene amounts of gore. Course Party has two live action films adapting the games. The sequel, Book of Shadows, never had an official release outside of Japan. My good friend Mary actually translated the Book of Shadows movie recently. Location on where to find that is in the description below. Course Party first gained popularity in the West when PewDiePie did a Let's Play back in 2014. Over the years, multiple Let's Players have showcased Course Party, and many continue to create Let's Plays today. For a short while, the deaths and tortured souls became a target for reaction videos, mainly due to the overly gruesome nature of them. It seems to have died out now. <gasps> Was that the bite of 87? Course Party uses different Japanese horror movie tropes such as ghost girls with long hair, red and white spirits, and being trapped in an alternate reality. In Book of Shadows and Blood Drive especially, the Book of Shadows aka the Necronomicon and the Witch Trials play a significant part in the plot. This YouTuber streamed Course Party back in 2019 and a clip became a popular sound on TikTok last year. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. This is a blog where Yumi finds a Sachiko Ever After ritual. However, there is an actual Naho Nods website you can visit. Blood Covered has been ported to PC, PSP, 3DS, PS4, and Switch, each version having numerous changes including menus, music, sound, CGs, sprites, endings, and extra chapters. 
Time loops are a confusing part of Course Party's lore explored in Book of Shadows. Basically, most wrong ends are canon with Sachiko rewinding time, having the characters die over and over. There is a glitch name tag in Chapter 5 of the English PSP port where it will not load in, making it impossible to 100% the game legitimately. The course we're looking for, it's going to be an earthquake and we're going to have to come up here and it should be right here. Alright, who the f*** is you? Ah, ah! Who was that? That was definitely Saint Marianne. Who the f*** was that? The screenshot still shows the bathroom! What the f***? Course Party Blood Covered and Book of Shadows make use of binaural audio, where a dummy head microphone was used in order to get the recording to become more realistic to great effect. There are many points where it feels like a character is whispering right in your ear. Despite it being a comedic spin-off, it's actually canon to the series, taking place within one of the set time loops. Many fans have a hatred towards Blood Drive. Reasons include a confusing and convoluted plot, kawaii character designs, and poor gameplay. Fun fact, Mayu is the only unplayable character out of the main cast. Blood Covered and Book of Shadows have a number of CGs that go unused. They can be found in the game's files. Sachiko's voice actress Ukoe Otani also voices Pikachu. It has been 8, almost 9, years since the first chapter of Dead Patient was released. Kedoan has apologized multiple times for the delays and insists development is ongoing. There are multiple manga adaptations for Corpse Party, Blood Covered and Book of Shadows which are the only official English translated mangas. To You and a short Blood Dry Prelude, a manga for the first live adaptation film, and Another Child, a completely new story with a new set of characters. Whatever's left of the Course Party fandom today exists on Twitter, subreddits, and Discord servers. Go join my Discord. Hey yo, the pizza here! Oh! <laughs> a good portion of the Course Party fandom has a hatred towards Ayumi for some of her decisions and actions in the games. Ayumi? F. 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 There is a popular favoritism among fans on the side of Yakuden students over the main Kisaragi cast. There is a special digital-only Steam art book for Course Party 2021, which shows artwork of different Steam achievements and unseen background characters. Many fans agree that the anime isn't very good, as it butchers the plot of the games by cutting out many important details and is overall a lackluster adaptation. Corpse Party Rebuild is a 2012 fan remake of 1996's Corpse Party by an anonymous user with the permission of Kedoan. It is an extremely faithful adaptation with new graphics. Corpse Party has a huge cast of characters, many of which end up becoming irrelevant and usually meet their demise quickly. A huge number aren't even seen and are only mentioned in name tags found lying around Heavenly Host. This is actually what my Corpse Party lore playlist is about, so if you haven't, go check that out. On August 11, 2020, a video was uploaded to the official Mages YouTube channel celebrating the 10th anniversary of the PSP port. In the video, different scenes were shown along with the timeline until the video gets corrupted around the year 2020X, with the words Darkness Distortion and More Corpse appearing on screen. Many fans believe this was teasing a new game, but it was most likely just for the 2021 re-release. Drama CDs are popular in Japan. Course Party has quite a few of them. My good friend Mary uploaded some here. There are a multitude of fan games, many good and bad. Highlights include Course Party Zero, one of the first fan games released, and acts as a prequel to 1996's Course Party. The cool thing about Zero is that the main characters, Shiho and Kaori, became canon and are included as victims in Blood Covered. 
If Past End and Crossfear are two sequels to one of the wrong ends in 1996's Corpse Party, which focuses on Yoshiki. The D2 series is also a sequel to one of the wrong ends from the 1996 Corpse Party. Seal Eternal Psycho adapts the first chapter of Book of Shadows into the gameplay style of Blood Covered. Seiko Mindbreak is a platformer where you play as Seiko. Rabbitfoot is an endless runner where you play as Yuka and attempt to outrun Kizami. Rebirth is a very recent mod to Rebuild, which updates the graphics and adds new scenarios and characters to the game. Made by my good friend Zwataketa, who was also on an episode of Doki Doki Course Party Club and we also live streamed his final release together. And this one's not on the list but I'm gonna include it because it was the first video I ever posted on this channel. Course Party Infinitive, made by my good friend Feleno. A live-action found footage style trailer was produced to advertise the 3DS port of Course Party. It's pretty creepy. There is a glitch in Chapter 2 which can cause a second Ryu to spawn, even in the 2021 version, but not the 3DS port. In the original trial version of Dead Patient, Ayame had a costume that put her in a Kisaragi uniform. It unfortunately never worked due to a bug. There is also an unused costume of Ayame in a hospital gown. The Corpse Party fandom reached its peak between 2014 and 2016, after the release of Corpse Party for PSP and coverage from Let's Players, but unfortunately died down around 2016. There are a bunch of dead Corpse Party fan communities that used to be on Tumblr, Amino, and the now non-existent Google+. I like it, Kaji. During the peak fandoms, you could find a lot of fan content on YouTube, including Tortured Souls AMVs, Weird MMDs, and quite a few shit posts. This Course Party manga's premise involves shenanigans with fan favorite pairings of characters. Currently, there is no English translation. In Steins Gate Zero, there is an advertisement for Course Party that appears on the subways. A novel that follows Naho before the events of Course Party, as she investigates a mysterious online curse and battles to take down Magari. Asami Imai, the voice actress of Ayumi, sings the Course Party vocal tracks. Around 2010 to 2014, she was in a duo with Eri Kitamura, Yuka's voice actress, where they produced different Course Party songs. The original Course Party shares many similarities with Capcom's NES game Sweet Home, a predecessor for Resident Evil. It's theorized among fans that Kadoan took heavy inspiration from Sweet Home. Within the Course Party fandom, there are a number of fans who idolize Yuya Kizami, despite the fact that he is a murderous psychopath who gains enjoyment out of murder. It's pretty strange, no judgment. Within the fandom, there's a number of strange shippings that many seem to love. Yeah, immediately no. Immediately wow. no. Immediately, no. There's also weird fanfics you can find via Wattpad and AO3. Honestly, nothing new. Every fandom deals with this kind of thing. Course Party New Chapter is a lost, unfinished Course Party game, released for mobile phones in Japan back in 2007 before Blood Covered. Chapter 5 was never released and the game was discontinued after work on the PC port began. Only screenshots of the game exist now and it even has an article on the Lost Media Wiki. Satsuki's Heart was a cancelled sequel to 1996's Course Party. Not much is known about it, but there is a reference to the cancelled game in one of the Blood Drive's extra chapters, titled Satsuki's Heart. RPG Maker DS Plus was an RPG Maker released exclusively in Japan in 2011 for the DS. Later on, free Course Party DLC was released over Wi-Fi, so anyone could create their own fan game. Luckily, this content was released worldwide on Steam, via a resource pack for RPG Maker VX Ace. In 2020, there was an alternate reality game using the official Course Party Twitter page in Japanese. It was used to promote the 2021 re-release of Course Party. Link to the archive can be found below. A radio drama was created to promote Corpse Party and was released all the way back in 2010, with 11 episodes in total featuring Asami Imai and Eri Kitamuri. There are some Japanese-only fan doujin novels that exist for Course Party with very little coverage. 
There is an unending amount of Japanese exclusive merch for Course Party from keychains, chopsticks, and cups that never got released in the West. There are some rare official Course Party body pillows that were released only in Japan. There is actually some bootleg Course Party merch you can find online from pirated copies of the anime and movies to fake coloring books on Amazon. There's even poor Course Party decals printed on t-shirts. Over the years, there have been multiple collaborations with different restaurants to advertise Corpse Party in Japan. Many serve limited time Corpse Party themed meals, drinks, special artworks, and dishes. Namja Town is an indoor theme park located in Tokyo, which at some point had a Corpse Party attraction where you would sit in a creepy toilet stall and listen to recorded drama from the voice actors. Musume is a course party manga that focuses entirely on fan service with questionable panels. The manga actually has quite a few changes from the main games, including story and appearances. While many fans dislike Yuka for being too childish, many fans hate Yuka after it was revealed in one of the wrong ends in Blood Covered that Yuka has an incestuous love towards her older brother Satoshi. Taguchi is an adult cameraman in Course Party who has started to get hate from the community after it was revealed in Sweet Sachiko's Hysteric Birthday Bash that he has an attraction towards underage high school girls. Kadoan is the creator of Course Party and is a very strange person. Fans are beginning to question his actions that he was responsible for Musume, Yuka, and Taguchi. Other things include cosplay of Kana Kamuri and his VTuber persona of a little girl. As stated before, there is quite a bit of perversion in the Course Party series, even more that's unmentioned. But there is also quite a bit in the fandom as well, with fans going as far as creating adult stories and artwork, and even shipping Yuka with Satoshi, and other characters. This last one is kind of a downer, but it needs to be said because this is wrong. Thanks again to Joe for creating this iceberg, he did all the research and wrote the script so literally all credit goes to him for the entirety of this video. Thank you all for watching, make sure you show some love to the Course Party community by sharing this around, and I hope to see you next time in future videos. Also don't forget to like and subscribe, I plan to do more iceberg videos in the near future, and the dopamine rush when I see numbers go up fuel my determination.